one thing you should be thinking right now is, well, why do we need a method to set X? Why can't we just access X itself? And we certainly can. We can definitely do that. I'm gonna do that right up here, right after I create the point. I'm gonna do P dot X equals 1,000. Equals 10,000, all right, why not? I'm gonna take all these lines of code out when I'm done. Now, the problem with this, what we're gonna use this for is we're gonna create an object that will draw itself on the drawing panel and this x coordinates can be way too big for even the largest drawing panel. 10,000, that's significantly more than a 4K screen. So there's no drawing panel that's going to have, have an x coordinate this big. But if you look somewhere, we got to scroll up a little bit. So here we are, right there. So it let me set it. Uh, not only could I do 1,000, I could basically do as big of a number as I want. 100,000, negative 100,000. There's no control over what this X value can be. And that is the danger of allowing access to variables outside the class. So the way that we're going to prevent this from happening, we're gonna put the word private. What that means is X now can only be accessed inside this class. And over here, you can no longer access X. So this is invalid. You can't change it. You cannot even read it. Now we can see what the X is because it is, uh, we're using the two string and the two string prints, uh, creates a string, gives it to us, then we print it out. Uh, but Overall, you do sometimes need to just read the X value as an integer, not inside of a string. So along with set, we have a get. So this is gonna be get X. Oh, this should be public. Now the type, it is gonna give back a value and it needs to be the type of X right here. So X is an integer, so it's gonna be an int. And all we do in here is return X. So this pair right here, this is called a setter and a getter. So this is a getter setter pair, but it gets and sets the value. And again, the big advantage to this is you can ensure that values are between certain ranges. Uh, if you were gonna take a string, a string could be anywhere from an empty string to as many characters, well, it could be, get really big. It can also have escape characters that can do harmful things to your web server. So this lets you check what the input is or what the parameter is before you actually set the value. So it gives you a safeguard. What we're gonna use it for is so the X coordinate's not too big for the drawing panel and it's also not negative. So whenever you set the X coordinate, it guarantees that it's gonna be on the screen. We do the same thing for Y. So again, control shift down, change it to Y. I probably just grab these once. Now I'm only halfway done with set X, so I would not duplicate it now. You still need to uh, take care of it if it's too big. But once you did that, then you can duplicate these, basically change all the X's to Y's. Do be careful because width is a horizontal or an X property. Height is what you want somewhere here. Height's what you want for your Y coordinates. So just make sure width is gonna be for X or later on when you go left, right, height is gonna be for Y or when you move up, down later.